Hi everyone, I'm PJ and this is The Closet. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making Frankenstein. So what you need to do is you need to get yourself a pan. This is a regular baking pan, nothing fancy. Like I said, I got this at the uh, flea market. I think it was a dollar, nothing fancy. So what you want to do is this. This is the things that you're going to need. You're going to need a pan. <clears throat> you need a pair of scissors, some strips of material, some yarn, a permanent magic marker, two bolts, a couple eyes. We have a whole thing of googly eyes, but we're going to stick with the two little eyes that I have up here. Some paint, some black paint. You can use a piece of paper and a bigger paintbrush and a glue gun. And that's all you need. Now, the paint, the material, and the yarn is all optional because this is what you're going to be making your um, Frankenstein's hair out of. So you can use whatever option that you want to use. You can go ahead and make the hair like I have on this piece of paper. All you simply do is take a bigger brush, which I, I use this bigger brush, and you just dab it in to your paint. And you just need to get the edges done. You don't need to get um, everything coated. And you just simply, and how well you can see this, you just stick this on here, like that. And you can make this any length that you want to make it, any way you want to make it, and you just put some hair on him. And that's all you have to do with that. So you can give him some hair like this. So that's one option. You also have the option of just taking some yarn and just making strips of yarn, cutting off the yarn, however long you want the yarn to be, and then just uh, gluing it down the whole way around the top of your Frankenstein. Or you can cut pieces of material like I have here. So this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using some strips of material. Just make sure that you cut uh, most of your strips the same way if you want. Um, I guess you can mix it up however you want to mix it up. But I'm going to be using uh, some strips of fabric since I have a lot of fabric, which we all know that I do. So we're going to be using some fabric today. Now all I did was I just took a glue gun and I just ran my pieces down. I started on the side. That way I could get um, the sides all down and then I just ran the piece right over the top to kind of like make it real neat looking and that way I didn't have to worry about any edges sticking out and that's what I've got done so far so basically this is all you have to do you just have to like put his hair on put some eyeballs on a mouth and some bolts and this is a really really simple simple project so you can do this with the kids the only thing that I suggest is that you um, be careful around the hot glue gun because of course we don't want anybody to get burnt so this is all we need to do with our project. So I just basically um, took my glue gun and I ran myself down some glue and I just went and stuck on a piece of hair and that was it. Easy peasy. Of course just be careful that you don't burn yourself because this glue gets really hot sometimes. Right there, like that, and that's all I did. And I'm gonna do this the whole way across. I'm gonna run some down the side here, and then we'll go ahead and get on to the face. So let me get this finished up, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So I got his hair on. I glued his little eyes on. They're all Google it where the one is. <laughs> So I glued his little hair on, I glued his little eyes on, got it all done at the top. So, like I said, you can do anything that you want to do with his hair. It's totally up to you. Um, it's, it's make him yours. So, the only thing we've got left to do is put his mouth on and let's go from there. So, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply use a black permanent marker and I'm going to make a little line. Let's see, let's go right about here. Oh, 
All right, got our mouth on, and we'll give him a couple little stitches here. Let's see. Let's go like this. And like I said, you can make these any way that you want to make them. Anywhere on your little pan that you feel the need to do. And there you go. That's all we got done for him. Now the only thing left that we have to do is we have to stick on his little bolts. And that's it. Project done. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get these on here real quickly. These do not have to go on perfectly either. It's totally up to you, whatever you want to do with them. And however big you want them to be, however small you want them to be, whatever you want them to be is totally your, your choice. And we'll stick a little glue on that side and we'll get it lined up here as much as we possibly can. to dry and there we go he's all done so he's easy to make he's cute to make and that's all there is to make him it's a couple little things a little bit of time and it doesn't take that long so if you would go ahead and hit the subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it give this video a thumbs up you can follow me on social media I have Twitter and I have Instagram it's PJ's closet 101 and up in the banner, you'll see two little icons. You can just go ahead and click on those. It'll take you directly to my page. Um, if you could click on the notification bell, that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video to my channel. And you will get to make some cool stuff like this. Also, if you haven't checked out the uh, Pan Witch video, uh, go ahead and click on the little um, I at the top of the video right there and you'll be able to go back and see how we made our witch so thanks for tuning in i greatly appreciate it and i guess that's it bye youtube